Picture yourself at work and you're dealing with a pile of tasks, there are requests from customers coming in, from your colleagues and your supervisors. It can feel overwhelming at times, right? Trying to figure out what needs to be done right away, what can wait, and so on. This is where the Eisenhower matrix comes in really handy. It's named after former US President Dwight Eisenhower, who was known for his ability to prioritize tasks. This matrix helps you categorize your tasks based on two key factors, urgency and importance. So let's imagine four quadrants, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and the last one is not urgent and not important. I imagine you can guess where scrolling through social media would go, right? Okay, let's talk about each one in more detail. First, we have urgent and important. This is top priority. These are tasks that require immediate action because they're both urgent and important. So for example, a customer complaint that needs immediate resolution, that would fall into this category. These tasks should be tackled first to prevent any negative impact. Then we have important but not urgent. These are tasks that are important for your long-term goals, but they don't necessarily require immediate attention. So for instance, updating your customer service manual to improve your efficiency. While these tasks are not pressing, they are important to your overall success at work. So it is wise to schedule time for them. Then you have urgent but not important. Some tasks may seem urgent, but they're not important enough for you to handle personally. An example could be redirecting a customer query to a colleague who is better equipped to assist them, or maybe delegating certain tasks. This will help you free up time for more critical matters. And finally, we have not urgent and not important. These are things you want to eliminate or postpone. These are tasks that neither require immediate attention or they don't really contribute significantly to your goals. So activities like excessive email checking or attending unnecessary meetings, those would fall into this category. So it's best to either eliminate them or to postpone them to focus on more meaningful work. So your action plan is to make a list of tasks you have for this week and then categorize them based on urgency and importance. By using the Eisenhower matrix, you can gain clarity on what needs your immediate attention versus what could be prioritized for later. This helps you manage your time better, reduce stress, and ensure that you're focusing on tasks that really align with your goals and your priorities.